It's John Tini or Red Fox 4680 here to give out another how to draw video this time. Uh, it's how to draw manga. Manga part 4. Please um go and check the other video videos if you haven't seen them. And um uh, let me just get right into this and start drawing we're gonna start drawing the upper body and probably the lower body which includes the legs so uh, let's get in here and start to draw okay so um please ignore the background as you can see you can kind of see here i have messed up quite a few times but uh let's get this over with so um draw ahead uh, it doesn't matter how big, how small, just draw ahead. Somewhere around there. Use your, you can use your own character's head for this, so. Whatever you like. It's not important for right now. This, then let's make a line right here. Somewhat uh, within this length. That's good. And now that I'm gonna need my ruler, we're gonna put in the the elbows. Well, rough the guidelines for it. elbows actually. There you go. And I mean not the elbows, the shoulders. There you go, shoulders. That's what it's called. Um, so yeah, the light changed right now, so sorry about that. Some things are like really annoying. Yeah, okay, so then, um, hmm. I think we're gonna have to zoom in here. Well, probably not. So the guy's necks are somewhat fairly decent sized. The thicker than the guy's manga males necks are thicker than female necks, so let's get that somewhere like this. There you go. Now we know what the shoulders are gonna be. Now the tricky part is figure out where is the waist gonna be so we can know how long are the arms gonna be so to do that if you have a ruler or somehow find out the length of the head that you're making the length of my head is let me see it is around like three centimeters so let's get to this. I have the camera right in front of me, so this is quite difficult. <laughs> so let's start three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's put that here. Now, this is not what the waist is going to be. The waist is actually going to be, I think, here. Um, yeah, right there. This is where the waist is gonna be. We're still gonna need that guy lane for later. Uh, let's see. Da, da. Everyone sees it, right? There you go. Now, then, let's start to draw the arms. You, you can use it like the skeletal stick figure thing for drawing guidelines and it helps when drawing poses and stuff like that but yes the upper part of your arm next to your shoulder it's pretty long actually and then we are gonna also draw the we're also gonna draw the 
um, I guess the lower part of your arm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really don't know the names of this stuff. So. Later we'll get into, not in this video, but later we'll get into uh, drawing wrinkles in foldings and stuff like that. It's about going to be somewhat the same length, this two. And uh, let's have it like that. And there we go. Good, decent size. I'll mask myself. I, see, I do say so myself. Let's make him have somewhat of a fist here. Which we'll be moving into later. I feel the face is gonna be quite bigger than this. A little bit, tiny. Not, not the big, but somewhat big. And then the other part. Let's see. Uh, it's around there. And we come down with the other part of the arm. Right there. And then once again, we draw. I think it's called the forearm. I don't know. But there you go. At least we know what we're drawing here. Try to imagine this as a how to draw book. So, yes, it, it, it's like a how to draw book. All right, then. Next up is turn on this part right here. So I, I'm gonna go somewhat like this. For a male, this is too thin, but. But we'll make it work. There we go. I should actually close in a little bit more so you can see it. There we go. That's better. Mm. Yeah, around there. And then we, let's just close it off. Just like that. We cut his body in half. We're gonna focus on the upper part of the body. We won't have time for the lower part. So, I mean, I care a bit. It's not gonna make any sense. So, um, the size of a regular human body is seven times the length of their head. Seventeen and a half. For mangas, it's one head less. Sometimes for male it's like six and a half or six, like six and a half or six hits of their the length of their heads. Um, for children, the way to make them is you know bigger eyes, bigger head compared to their body, you make them look more like children. But this this here is somewhat like an adult. Or a teen, probably in his early twenties or somewhere around there. And uh, I'm not too good with drawing muscles and all. Um, hold on. Sorry about that. Yes, but please try to avoid all of this. I didn't want to stop the the camera and all of that. Oh, okay, it's the light that I have on top, so it can look better. Not the drawing. I mean the lighting and everything. But yes, here we go. 
have that. And I am currently working on my manga. I haven't finished the re I haven't even finished the rough draft. You know how hard it is to come up with a story? Kinda hard. Drawing part, not that hard. The coming up with the story? Yeah, a bit. Really takes time for you just to think. Okay. So I'm guessing Melpex are gonna be somewhat above this line right here. Oh my god. Somewhere above this. Terrible. Okay. I, I think it's gonna be somewhere wrong here. Now we can start drawing the little things. If you ever have looked at yourself in the mirror, you know you have these little two bones that come down to here. Yeah. And we're gonna. We're gonna start to draw this. Right oh dear, hold on. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this quick because I'm not just gonna do like the front view I'm gonna do the side view as well so let's get done with this but yes the pics of men sometime most of the time they're gonna be someone like that somewhat I mean not exactly somewhat I'm not too good drawing this stuff so bear with me I'm not even good at drawing this stuff but, you know try try to draw like circular type of rectangles for for the um to call ah I forget the names for the abs, there you go. Just don't like that. And we got to what there. Right there. Let's there. Let's draw some. I really thank the people who have subscribed, although it's just for people, but you know, every subscriber helps. Right now, this is not important for whatever reason, but you know, it's it's not important. We're gonna cover this thing up later on. Yes, it's somewhat like this. Do not try try not to get used to this method of drawing it. Um, look at some mangas and try to figure it out. I just really don't have the time. I don't know. I probably do. Probably I'm just too lazy. But it, it's somewhat okay. Uh, I don't know. Somewhat like that. Looks weird to me. Okay, so there we go. We had somewhat. Of somewhat of how placement of these but yeah the way I draw it um Nick you always have those little things right here they're part of your neck where your veins are which are they go over here you always have that little thing spot you always have that little spot right there okay next up let's try to draw the hands more of a close up 
here because it's a bit strange. Alright. The way I begin is by the way I begin is by drawing one line here and another line over here. Something like this. Then I make this line more longer and this line a bit shorter. And I begin to make this kind of arch around. And then I put down my thumb to close face somewhere around there. I start to you know, indicate where some of the knuckles are going to be, which is somewhere right here. Someone like that. And that's how I draw a closed up fist. Not the best, but looks good to me. To me. I have to look good to you. So I like this. <sighs> so for so yeah, basically for the arms, that's about it. And um, I guess I can do the legs. For the the legs, they're gonna actually be around. Uh, they're, they're pretty long, like just the thighs, and then the other part of the feet of the leg. I can probably do that right over here. So let's do it right here. I'm not gonna matter about that for right now. You know what? Let's find a new place. Uh. For legs, here's the waist, whatever. The thighs are gonna come up, they're gonna be long, okay? So here's where the hand ends. Just drop the thing like that. Yes. The legs, the thighs are pretty big, and then we come up with the other part of the legs, the bottom part, which end up here. Just curve this thing up, and there we go. <clears throat> so that's pretty much. It, but don't make it too short. Try to make it not too long, not too short. Try to find that perfect place. The thigh is going to be a little bit longer than the this part of the of the leg. But yes, that's basically how it's going to be. Okay. So yeah. That's how it's gonna be for feet for a front view. They're gonna be somewhat like this. Let's see if I can get this right without uh, messed up. Okay, you know what? Let's draw this. Show what it is and start to draw. Big thumb, 
so it's gonna be around here it's gonna go back like that or you know what so, somewhere like that uh yeah whatever. one I'm really really don't want to spend too much time on this so trying to hurry up as much as possible it's it's gonna be somewhat like this next video I'll cover this part and some other parts but all you have to remember is that the feet are somewhat like this Done like that, curved up, and move forward over here. But I ran out of space because I was trying to. They have that little ankle thing, and it pretty much will it will end somewhere around over here, right there. Somewhat around there. Okay. Next. Okay, so for the side view of the upper body, we are going to start by drawing somewhat Okay, no, you get the point. It, it's someone's head. The neck is going to go here and that's where the head starts the neck will be somewhere right here the back of the neck the front of the neck we curve make make a little you know little curve big curve right here come down and another curve this is where the legs are gonna be look at that then we add the front and the thighs. A bit too skinny for me, yes, I know. But so it's somewhat. Oh my god. I have never been good with drawing this. Never. repeat never okay the arms the arms will be like this they'll come down like that and It'll be this little part, other part of the arm. Ah, <sighs> this is so boring. I know, I know. Please bear with me. But you know, someone like this. I'm trying to brush through this as fast as possible. The elbow part of the which is this I mean the shoulder part is gonna be somewhat close close to where you begin this and it will end we're somewhere there as we see on the other one kind of around there this part is where you know where your shoulder blade is at and that's pretty much how it goes for the back it's gonna be kind of the same as the front only in the back you're actually gonna have to put a line that represents the spine if you want I mean you don't have to if you want and then show the shoulder blades right there that's 
the back. That's pretty much how it will be. Pretty much everything else will be the same. On the you look at yourself in the mirror, something, and try to figure out from your own body proportion. Um, that's about it. Next video, I'll start to talk about. I'll I'll, I'll start to talk about how to draw the wrinkles in both legs and upper body. But you know this is it's a somewhat like this, okay? I've spent too much time on this and oh god, but I can never teach you the correct way. I mean you you have to find your own style into it. You have to find the way it's supposed to grab a book of anatomy, look around, look for some videos about how to proportions and stuff like that this is somewhat this is how I draw it you don't have to input this in your drawings if you want if you because I know you won't like it but you know tr try to do something um, so yes furthermore you and I know I just did this for some dumb reasons but and I didn't get to finish whatever I was going to do, but you know what? The next video, I'll have the body prepared and everything how it's supposed to be. And I'll show you how many heads and the size and the width and everything. And then we'll, we'll start with the wrinkles as quick as possible. I, oh my, I spent too much time. But either way, um, if you like this video, please subscribe or comment. Please tell me what you want to learn to draw, and I'll try to draw as best as I can. I'm not the best artist out there. I'm really, I'm not. I've seen better artists than me, Mark Lee, some other guys, real good artists. And I, I just like little something. I barely started drawing manga, manga, like less than a year. It, it was within this year. That's when I started learning this stuff and I will greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe if you have liked this video I'm sorry it takes so long but I'm trying to make it like a how to draw video by step by step pretty much line by line or somewhat and um, it's a how to, like a how to draw book but in a video format but yes Please subscribe, it helps me a lot, it really motivates me, it makes my day, it really does make my day. So, please subscribe, comment, something, I don't know, but yes, this will be all, and I know you can hear the fan, but this will be all, next video we'll start on wrinkles, on somewhat, somewhat of where they, sh where they should be. And, uh, yes, I'll see you next time, and I'll be back if I can another day, so see you, and have a, nice, a great day.